Yes, 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 what's going on? Listen, I'm actually on my way to the airport. I'm going to Morocco. So I'm going to the airport a little bit early because what I usually do when I'm trading and I'm, you know, I'm about to travel, I usually book my airport ticket in the afternoon, okay? So I'm, you know, I'm departing around maybe 12 o'clock or 1 p.m. Eastern time because what I try to do is I want to trade in the morning. Okay, so when I trade, I have a schedule. Okay, we talked about this before. You know, you should have a schedule, but my schedule is 9.30 to 12, okay? Now, um, just because my schedule is 9.30 to 12, I, I wanna make sure I say this because, you know, a lot of people here, 9.30 to 12, they think I'm actually trading all the way from 9.30 to 12. Now, if I get one good opportunity, I'm done for the day. So uh, just because, let's say, let's say, for example, I take a trade at 9.30, right? And, you know, I make money. I'm not going to continue to trade just because, you know, my schedule is 9.30 to 12. No, I'm looking for opportunity. So a lot of times, or sometimes, not a lot of times, but sometimes my opportunity won't come until maybe 11 o'clock, okay? So that's why my schedule is around 9.30 to 12. So on average, I'm trying to take maybe one or two trades per day, okay? But if I get one good trade, I'm done for the day. So I go to the airport a little bit early. I try to get there around eight o'clock and um, in the morning, eight o'clock, so I can get through security and everything before the market opens. And then I sit down, open my laptop, and I'm looking for opportunities while I'm you know, in the airport. And that's what I usually do. So I wanna give you guys a tip if you are trying to travel and trade at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the airport, I'm gonna show you guys, if I see an opportunity, I'm gonna show you guys you know, the trade. But if I don't find an opportunity, I won't trade at all, okay? But anyway, um, I'll see you guys at the airport and uh, we talk from there. All right, so I'm in the airport right now, and I'm actually looking at this trade right here. We actually made a new high, and it pulled back to demand, and it showed me a nice rejection, so I got in the market. So I'm just waiting for the market to at least make a new high because I'm looking for a quick scalp. I'm not looking to hold this move. I'm just looking for quick profits. So I'm looking for the market to make a new high. Let me show you guys what happened next. So right here, you see the market is making a new high. I just got out the market. So basically I'm done for the day. You see that I'm up $1,484.50. So now I get to go on a plane to enjoy the first class service. <laughs> Finally made it to Morocco. Now we're going to go inside, show you guys the little junior suite that I have, so let's go. So over here, all right, we have pretty much the area where I'm gonna be, you know, trading and working. And um, we have the bathroom area right here, okay, so, we have pretty much the toilet. We have the closet area right here. Okay, I can pretty much hang my stuff up. We have the sink, kitchen right here. I want to get a tub, shower. All right, so let's go where I'm going to sleep at. All right, so we have a nice little bed going on. All right, look like a king size and um, Probably gonna look at some TV later on. And then we have outside. So let's go outside real quick. All right. So we got the outside right here. Probably gonna be chilling out here later. All right. Then we got a nice little back view outside. And probably gonna go ahead later. But that's pretty much it. Nice little junior suite chilling. And, you know. I'll talk to you guys later. So overall today, okay, I took this trade right here. We had a nice supply, boom. Took a short right here, all the way down to these lows right here. And I got out, okay, it was pretty much almost like a two to one. 
and um, I'm up. You can't really see, but I'm up uh, close to $2,000. I'll show you guys on the screen right now. This is only for, let me see, I was in this candle, so we're talking about five, pretty much 15 minutes, okay? Um, I usually start at 9.30, so 9.30 is this big bar right here, right? So waiting wise, 9.30 all the way to right here, we're talking about maybe a half an hour. Boom, half an hour, I'm waiting, okay? I'm out the trade and I can enjoy the rest of my day. And this is the beauty of trading, okay? Not every day is like this, but at the same time, this is possible once you understand trading. What's going on guys? Listen, yes, I'm in Morocco. My brother's actually having a wedding. Yes, I'm here in Morocco, right? Having a good time for the first time. I'm loving it. I actually got sick because I'm not really used to eating, you know, bad or whatever the case is, but and plus I'm in a different country. Now, I just want to talk about, you know, how to actually become a winner when it comes to trading, right? Because a lot of you guys want to win, but maybe you're not doing the necessary things. So when it comes to, you know, just being a winner, guys, there's multiple things you have to do. So, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, a lot of different things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is how bad do you want it, right? Some of you guys are too comfortable in your situation. Too comfortable, you know, you're not really giving it your all or you're too comfortable, period. Me personally, when I first started trading, honestly, I had a lot of low paying jobs and uh, that alone, made, you know, made me uncomfortable. So I didn't really like my situation. So I just wanted to just get out my situation and do more, right? So me, I really wasn't comfortable. Some of you guys are too comfortable right now. So maybe you don't want it that bad. But at the time when I first started, I wanted it bad because I didn't really like my situation. I was broke. I wasn't able to do a lot of things that I wanted to do. So that alone made me want it so bad. And usually when I want something bad, I'm gonna go after it and I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna give it 100%. Like for example, you know, my weight loss, right? I know some of you guys lately been saying, yo man, every time I see you, <laughs> it seems like every time I watch a new video of yours, you're losing more weight. And yes, that's true, okay? I lost 112 pounds since last year, so I'm down a lot. So yes, it is true that I lost a lot of weight and you know, and it goes back to how bad do you want it? I really wanted to lose weight, right? Real bad. So I said, okay, I have to, you know, do the necessary things to lose that weight. Yes, it wasn't overnight, but now I stuck to my plan and boom, I lost over 112 pounds. And honestly, guys, I love food. So if I was able to lose that much pounds, some of you guys really don't have any excuses. Okay. Some of you guys might like video games. You might like to party you might like to hang out with your friends i get it you know i'm not saying that you know give all that stuff up but what i'm saying is how bad do you want it are you willing to sacrifice you know a person like me that loves food a lot right i was willing to sacrifice because i know that health is wealth and also i know that you know me being that big wasn't you know it wasn't good overall so if i can do it i know some of you guys can do it too right and this is what anything guys it doesn't have to be losing weight it could just be you know being a good trader right how bad do you want it you have to create habits to get to the next level some of you guys have bad habits and those bad habits are not getting you anywhere so i had to create a lot of good habits when it comes to eating right how to eat less i had to eat the right foods Right now, when it comes to trading, you have to create the right habits. You have to have a plan. You have to have a checklist. You have to do the right things over and over and over to get you to the next level. Now, I want you guys to understand it's not going to be a straight line. OK, like with my weight loss journey. OK, I was losing weight and I would gain some weight back. I was losing weight gain some weight back. So guys, it's never going to be a straight line. It's going to be bumps or you're going to have pullbacks. So same thing with your trading, guys. Your trading account is going to look like this. You make some money, then you lose some money. You make some money and then you lose some money. You make some money and then you lose some money. But at least, you know, the overall trend is to the upside, right? So you have to understand it's not going to be a smooth, straight line. You're going to have your bumps. You know, some days I do have my cheat days when I want to eat or, you know, I want to go on vacation. Of course, I'm not going to eat, you know, <laughs> good. But at the same time, you have to go back to your routine and do the right things over and over and over. 
Now, the next thing I want to talk about is you have to reprogram yourself, guys. You can't be the same person that you are right now if you want to get to the next level. If you want to be a good trader, guys, you can't be the same person that you are right now. It's impossible. Because if you could remain the same and actually go to the next level, you'd be doing really good right now. But guys, you have to reprogram yourself, create good habits, do things that's outside of your comfort zone, and that's how you're gonna get to the next level, guys. You can't remain the same. It's impossible to do anything, right, or get to the next level with anything if you remain the same. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is in order to become a winner, guys, you have to lose, okay? Losing is necessary. It's impossible to become a master at anything without losing. And the great thing about losing, guys, is it's going to show you the answers. So in order to get to the next level, you need to get hurt, right? You need to fall down multiple times. Let's say that you're playing a video game. How do you get to the next level if you're playing a video game? I guarantee you, if it's a new game that you've never played before, you're probably gonna die or you know not do good the first time that you play that video game. So in order to get to the next level while you're playing the video games, you're gonna have to basically maybe mess up a couple of times so you can get to the next level. What about, you know, let's say that you never parked a car before, right? You're gonna have to hit the curve a couple of times before you get used to parking the car, right? When it comes to, you know, learning how to walk. Babies, they fall all the time. Fall all the time to get used to walking. So I hope you guys are seeing the common theme. The common theme is you have to lose or you have to go through some pain in order to get to the next level. That's with anything, guys. If you want to take whatever you're trying to do to the next level, you're gonna have to lose or feel pain. It's just what it is. You can't skip that step. So I want you guys to understand, embrace losing. It's okay because once you lose, you're gonna figure out, okay, I can't do this no more, right? And you start to play that elimination game where you eliminate all the bad things that you shouldn't be doing, right? and you add new things, and that's the name of the game. Michael Jordan, guys, Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna work my butt off. I'm gonna work so hard to the point where that's not gonna happen again. So guess what? He became one of the best basketball players in history, okay? but. He wasn't good at first. A lot of you guys are not good at first, whatever you try to do, you know, the first time. You're not gonna be good, but it is what it is. Like me personally, you know, in life, I barely graduated from high school. I didn't go to college, okay, but I didn't like my life. I said, you know what? Yeah, I barely graduated from high school, but how can I make my life much better? What can I do? So I had to go through some pain. I had to fail a lot of times to see what I had to do to get to the next level. So I want you guys to understand, guys, losing is a necessary part of whatever you're trying to do, right? And losing will show you the answers. It will show you how to win. But some of you guys are too, you know, caught up with complaining about your situation. You know, the complaining part blinds you. You can't see the answers because you're complaining too much. Guys, when you lose, right, you have to analyze your losers to figure out why I'm losing. And that's how you get to the next level because every time you tweak and figure out why you're losing and keep improving, that losing part, guys, is gonna show you what to do. So I want you guys to understand, you know, you're gonna go through a phase where you're losing pretty much almost every single day when it comes to trading or maybe every single week. You're gonna definitely go through a losing phase where, you know, you're gonna say to yourself, man, I can't, I don't think I can do this anymore, right? But I'm here to tell you guys, that's normal. Everybody go through this losing phase where it doesn't look bright, like, the future doesn't look good at all. You, you question yourself. You have a lot of questions. You like, you know, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And you know, you might find yourself trying to quit. But I'm here to tell you guys, if you could find a way not to quit, you're gonna definitely be ahead of 95% of people that are trying to, you know, make it. So guys, make sure you don't give up because I'm gonna show you know a picture right now on the screen. Okay, a guy that's given up and a guy that's going to just continue to go right? And you see that picture right there, that guy that just gave up, he was that close. Like he was really close to getting those diamonds, but guess what? He gave up. So a lot of you guys are so close, like you're right there. But if you give up, the game is over. So guys, don't give up. Understand that losing is part of the game, but learn from your losers so you can take whatever you're trying to do to the next level. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and take advantage of uh, the discount I have going on. And that's going to end uh, next week. And also thanks a lot for, you know, watching my videos and have a great day. Talk to you guys later.